banks and home builders represented on this week's top picks list. Eric, you're in the home builder space. Exactly. I'm looking at the Spider S&P uh, home builder ETF, mm -hmm. symbol XHB. Uh, this ETF has about 30 uh, companies in its basket, pretty low fee at 35 basis points a year. And uh, unlike the other home builder ETF out there, ITB, this one has a much more spread out profile. So it just doesn't hold home builders. It holds uh, home furnishing companies, home improvement companies, uh, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Depot, uh, Williamson Sonoma. So it's got a pretty broad uh, exposure to the space. And I think this could be the way to play the segment now, you know, as we kind of get away from, you know, focusing on home builders and more on the auxiliary plays on the mm -hmm. sector. Uh, plus, it's a now a Zach's ETF rank of two or buy, and this is recently uh, ch recently changed from a hold. So now could be the time to get get in on this uh, surging ETF. Todd, you have a bank. Yeah, Webster Financial WBS is the ticker symbol. Now they're more focused on the commercial side of of banking. They are headquartered in Connecticut. They have about 168 branches, over 20 billion dollars in assets. So pretty big player. Not you know not not the biggest, but uh, they're up in the New England market. They just delivered a very solid quarter, and they saw improvements in credit quality. They saw very solid loan growth, you know, commercial and commercial real estate lending, mm -hmm. and they saw a, a big uh, increase in their operating margins. And that was because higher revenues led to in, uh, increased uh, operating leverage, and they saw a, a, an improved efficiency ratio. For, so there's a lot going right with this bank. Analysts revised their estimates significantly higher after the beat, sent it to a Zach's rank of one, which is a strong buy rating. And if you look, they pay dividend yields 2.2%. So you're getting very solid income. And they traded just 1.3 times book value. The industry median's at one and a half times. So there's some value to go along with this. And I will say within, within the finance sector, that has been one of the strongest sectors this earnings season. And looking forward, it, it is kind of one of my favorite sectors, at least in banking, because if you think about uh, the increase in the long-term interest rates, that leads to a, a steeper yield curve and to higher margins for these guys. So there's a lot to like about this bank here. All right, not to be outdone, Shiraz, you have a bank as well. <laughs> I have a bank as well. A little bit bigger bank than what Todd is referring to, U.S. Bank Corp., um, uh, one, of the, one of the major regionals. And uh, I'm trying to play the same team. Uh, the, 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 the steepening yield curve, the improving outlook for the, uh, the U.S. economy, uh, all of those trends play to the, the core strengths of the, uh, the financial sector in general. And, and these banks, uh, regional banks, uh, that are so plugged into the, uh, the, the regional economy, U.S. Bank Corp, uh, about $350 billion uh, in, um, uh, in assets, uh, is, is one of the best run uh, companies uh, in, the, uh, in, in the regional banking uh, sector. Uh, not exactly cheap on, on valuation terms, uh, not a not an unknown name either. It's it's pretty well known, and perhaps the the, the near term upside may be limited, but it's a way to play the longer term improving trend for the U.S. economy, and the next phase of how uh, the the financial market will evolve. So it's the if if you want to play how the improving labor market would strengthen the consumer. Uh, the U.S. consumer and its effect on the on the broader economy, and you want to play that trend from financials. Then you want to play that uh, through an operator like U.S. Bank Corp. Uh, it's it's ranked number three, as I mentioned, may not be a, a, a near term uh, a catalyst for, for the stock, but very well run, uh, extremely uh, strong returns both on assets as well as equity. Um, a very strong balance sheet uh, um, above uh, the, the, the mandatory uh, capital ratio, so the outlook for returns both on, uh, in, in terms of dividend and buybacks, very strong. Uh, I'll, I'll buy uh, U.S. Bank Corp. As a, as a good, solid, long-term holding in a broadly diversified portfolio. Okay, well, the one thing we can bank on is that we have other stock picks and stock picking strategies for you, and you can go review them on our website, zax.com, if you're watching this video out in syndication land. They change frequently, so check back frequently for those picks and stock picking strategies. Until next time, with everyone here, I'm Terry Ruffalo.